Hi everybody, it's Irene with Brainstorm Makers. And this morning, I don't think you guys have ever seen me spray in the greenhouse before, but I have a couple of things to take care of. And the big thing this morning is white flies. I also have a little bit of fungus and therefore I decided that since it's still cool this morning, I'm going to spray with neem oil. Now the reason I've chosen neem is that it's not only going to knock down the white flies, it's also going to help with the fungus. So it's both an insecticide and a fungicide sort of wrapped into one. Now it stinks and you know I try not to get too much on myself and Jack is not in here because I always keep the critters away when I'm spraying. But I'm going to do two things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put up some white fly traps. My preference is to control with traps and physical means as much as possible and only go on to spraying when I have to. But I noticed this morning when I was harvesting that the white flies have really exploded and they're all over the cucumbers, which they weren't before. They started on the watermelon, watermelon and uh, pie, pie pumpkin. So but now they're on the white the uh, cucumbers and I've even seen a couple on the tomatoes this morning so we're just gonna knock this thing down before it gets totally out of control first thing I'm gonna do is put up some uh, sticky traps now I try and be careful with sticky traps people have used them traditionally in the garden they have been known to trap hummingbirds and they can also trap beneficials to be honest because it's a yellow color and therefore lots of bugs are attracted to it. In this case, I'm in a greenhouse. I haven't even seen any bees in here lately so and I would not spray uh, neem oil if I had seen bees. Um, neem oil and bees pollinators of any sort do not get along well together. Just realized this pack of sticky traps did not come with <laughs> ties, so we'll fix that. Let's see. I have a couple. Let's see. Maybe they're tucked in. Ah, there they are. Good. I was just going to say, don't tell me I have to go back to the house. I don't want to. These sticky traps, you can see they were just folded inside out and uh, they come with a twist tie like this. Now I've had a lot of flies over in this area so I'm actually going to put one right above over here because proximity to where they like to be is the big ticket. There we go, there's one and gonna do another one. Now you see that's just it's folded. All the sticky stuff's on the inside. It has two holes that are pre-punched on the two sides of it. It's best to take those out first actually. And it says pull apart here and pull apart here and you literally just pull. Blah! Very gooey. Um, it does come off your hands eventually. I think this one was a it may have instructions. Sometimes they'll have instructions on how to get it off. Like they'll say use baby oil or use whatever, depending on the kind of goo that's in there. But there we go. And they are attracted to the yellow. So I'm going to hang this guy right here. So that hopefully all these little beggars will be attracted to them. Now when I start to spray these plants the white flies are going to come up off of them and what I do is my sprayer has a very fine mist and I continue to spray the clouds on some organic farms and I've actually seen this one time it's very cool they will actually use vacuums to simply physically remove the white flies I have done that before with both white flies and with uh, squash bugs where when the stuff and you can do it with any bug that flies that you want to get rid of when they come up 
you literally just suck them out of the air into your vacuum and they're gone. Now, this pumpkin showed up with fungus like seconds after I planted it in here. It really doesn't like it in here. I'm gonna cut off one or two leaves that are particularly yucky. That one is the worst. This has been mostly trimmed up so there's not any major quantities of fungus showing on here, but the white flies have gotten bad. So I'm going to get this guy back out the door. I'll toss this down here. That will go out the door. And I'm going to go ahead and get spraying. I have a little sprayer here. It's uh, preloaded. <laughs> and this is a simple cheapie from uh, Harbor Freight. I have two of these, one of them which I use for spraying insecticide and fungicide, and the other which I use for spraying calcium. And all I'm going to do is pay attention to which way the wind's blowing <laughs> and spray away from myself, basically. I'm going to turn it on. It's got a latch that allows it to stay on. I'm going to try and get up underneath the leaves as much as possible. And like I say, never do this around pollinators. It is bad for pollinators. It will kill them. It's one of the problems with neem oil. People say, oh, it's a natural product. Yeah, lots of things are natural. Arsenic is natural. Lead is natural. Mercury is natural. All those things can kill people. So as you'll see, I'm kind of purposefully shooting up underneath the leaves. Sometimes with the fungicide and stuff, I'll actually do kind of like this and just literally shoot the backs of the leaves makes a big difference in terms of effectiveness. This actually doesn't smell as, smell as bad as the spinosad does. I can see the, leaf, the uh, white flies on the backs of the leaves here. So I wanna make particular attempt to get under them wherever I can and by spraying when they continue to be in the air, it gets all over them. Now I do wash the fruit when I bring it in after this, just because, see I just got a whole puff of white flies off of this one here. We've actually never had white flies in here until this year. Seems suitable, because it is 2020 and we've had everything this year practically. <laughs> but I honestly cannot complain. We have multiple families of friends of ours who are still evacuated in California for wildfires, so we'll take what we've got and say our prayers. And actually some new friends, well, old friends, just newly evacuated up in, uh, I forget whether they live in Oregon or Washington. Hmm. I knew them when they lived in California, but they moved to Pacific Northwest and now they're evacuated there too. So, yeah. So we say our prayers and be thankful for what we have. Neem oil is a, actually from a tree uh, in India, I think, but it probably goes in other places in, in Asia. And very, very effective. I've literally got clouds of white flies here that I've scared up by spraying the backs of these leaves. Very effective against a lot of different stuff. I even noticed white flies on the peppers this morning, so I was like, oh, okay, I've been trying to avoid this, but I'm not going to anymore. And I can easily shut off this little button here, turns the spray on and off. There's not much in the Pak choy, so I'm going to leave them alone, but I am going to spray the, these over here. So far, the white flies have not shown a great amount of affinity for the... Sorry for the racket here. Maybe I can turn this off briefly here. Turn off one of the fans. Um, so far, they haven't shown a huge amount of interest in the... tomatoes, but I know they can. I've seen them in gardens before, and... Since we don't have any pollinators bopping around in here, 
it seems like a really good plan to hit them. It'll uh, help knock down the fungus and it'll also help with the white flies. And you can't eradicate white flies. It's, it's virtually impossible. All we try and do is control them. Once they're in, they're in. But I really like this sprayer. We've had some span we've had much fancier ones before uh, that we bought for using in the orchard. And they were heavy and obviously they didn't hold up. Yeah, this gets a little heavy, but it's just uh, holds a half a gallon. That's a perfect quantity for the greenhouse. You don't want to ever mix this stuff up and hold it. You want it to just be used up in one fell swoop. I'm putting specific emphasis on any place where I've seen more bugs or more fungus than usual. Yeah, this smells way better than spinosad. <laughs> spinosad was bad the other day. I could smell it two days later. It was just like, ugh. Okay, now when I get down to the end, all I'm going to do is pump this up more. And let it sit. And it really atomizes the stuff here. Get those little beggars. Okay, done. That's it. I know a lot of people don't like to spray, and I certainly don't, but I also spray calcium, which is certainly a very positive thing. It helps to prevent blossom end rot, and it also improves cucumber set, and a couple of other plants like it too. So, yeah, I've used it on, uh, I use the calcium on peppers, tomatoes, and cucumbers. And... I don't worry if I get a little overspray. It's not going to hurt anything else. So, but hopefully you guys see how easy it is. I'm always cautious. I try not to breathe it too much. There's a fan blowing this way. I stand upwind as much as possible. And then I'm going to run the fans crazy fast in here to get this nice and dry. You never want to do it when it's going to be super hot. Uh, particularly with neem oil, there are certain insecticides and fungicides and things like that they can burn the plants if they are put on before it gets really hot so a lot of times I actually do this in the evening this morning because we're still really cool in here we're only 77 degrees and as soon as I crank up the fan again we're gonna drop back down it'll dry everything it'll be fine so hopefully this was useful so like subscribe hit that notification bell because you know, I was just going to do this this morning, and I said, I should video it, so to show people how we do this, it's not hard. It takes a little caution. I will wash my hands up to my elbows. I, you know, try not to breathe it. This is not a particularly bad thing. This is, like I say, it's a natural product. Natural products can still be toxic, but just be careful, be cautious, and don't use more than you need to. Sometimes natural products like this can really be your friend. It can make a huge difference. I have seen times when I sprayed... I want to spray, I spray about four weeks ago in here for white flies. And I swear I didn't see hardly a white fly in here for like another two and a half weeks. So that's really worth it to me because the goal of this greenhouse is to produce. We really want the freshest, cleanest vegetables we can get. And a little neem oil, I can live with that. So until next time, bye.